Hello, today is the 8th of December 2011, and this chart uh, only shows the variables from above 25 U.S. fiat dollars per ounce, going back to the start of the 1970s. So, very briefly, was it above 25? It went up fast and, well, pretty much receded down just as fast. Today, it's broke above this level, came up uh, fairly fast, and well, it's been very volatile and choppy within this, but it has been holding thus so far as support. The entire look of this, and I've shown this on multiple occasions, but there could always be new people within the channel. And we can see in here that after it found support, it uh, found resistance roughly at around that 25 and then plummet. Now, you look back at some of the occurrences that... Uh, may have occurred one search would be that of the Volcker rule and what was done in order to suppress these prices today what's the difference that we have from back then well people will claim that this was because of the hunt brothers that manipulated the market by cornering the market that is i find it a little unrealistic and even a little bit hilarious that something like that could actually be the case that one large rich family could be able to t really take over control of a precious metal like this at a time where the government control was extremely high. Therefore, they made them look a lot like criminals. If you look back at the archives as well, I think that is subject to interpretation. When you uh, look at this current trend line that we are facing, it's an uptrend line, so no reason, in my opinion, to give any benefit of the doubt for the short side or the sellers, not only till this range gets taken out, but really the pattern of uh, lower highs, or excuse me, higher lows and higher highs. Because you can look at the pattern something like this, and where's the next higher low going to be? Right now it's set in here. Whether that will be the low, they're known well after the fact. And when we look at this on an after-the-fact level, we can shorten this thing out, and we're seeing the break of 20 on the more shorter-term time frame. This is a daily line chart from the LBMA, 100-ounce silver price. And the nice run got us up to about the uh, 31.28 level. Well, that's exactly where it went up to. And the key Fibonacci level, if you've seen any of my older videos, is 31.42. So it found resistance at that level, but really minor resistance because it only came down to the 26 handle and it shot right up pretty much up to 50 that was a gain of about 90 ish percent and just a brief period of time thus making a higher low was extremely easy and that's because when you have an amazing gain they set the bar up really amazing for the fact that it should make a higher low only because the mathematics would have stated you have to lose a 50 percent drop for it to not be the case which is pretty much close to impossible but really it's not as well so you have this uh, level of support which is a higher low but then you make a lower high in here which was preceded or followed then by another uh, lower low in fact it's first lower low I should be saying which was then preceded by possibly that of another lower high but that's not in play yet. we don't know yet if that's going to be a lower high. For that to be the case, it either has to break down below this line or at least do a long, long sideways correction, something like that nature in there. Because if it keeps going higher, then what you thought would be the lower high, obviously, uh, is not going to be the case. It's almost like saying, well, this is a major significant high, although obviously it corrected from this point, but it was very lightly that it did correct at that level. So the big thing to look out for is when you can start to notice that you can at least maintain A, a higher low, as well as B, a higher high. When that's going to come into play, a lot of traders are going to be uh, really active within this market. And if we have any more of this wild stuff, maybe we build up an inverted head and shoulders pattern by making a move up to the 42 level, retracing back down to 34 and something like that could always be possible. But we, that's, in, that's got a long ways of taking place because maybe we do continue this pattern of lower highs and lower lows and thus have a test of the previous resistance level at roughly the uh, $20 an ounce level. Thank you for tuning in and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.